What's up, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do something a little different. Since it's Mother's Day, it's coming Sunday, I thought I would do something to show my mom that I really love her. She is the light of my life. And I'm going to do something that I think that she would really appreciate. I'm going to paint her a picture. Now, I don't know if you know this about me or not, but I do a little uh, dabbling in the acrylic pouring department. So I've been doing it for almost a year now, and I thought I would paint her a picture of the four elements. Now, the canvas I'm using is a 30 by 40 big canvas. And hopefully, she will like this and appreciate it because I love her. She is my world, and without her, I wouldn't be who I am today. Ready? Let's hit it. That is my rubber gloves because you don't want paint under your nails, trust me. It's hard to get off. Alright, one. And, oh. I bend over. Just kidding. Now, what we're going to do today is called a Dutch pour. And the Dutch pour is you use a hair dryer to blow the paint and it makes a cool little design. Now I've done this before. I'm going to show you a picture of that. I also did some other different techniques. Swirl technique, open cup technique, swipe technique. So today we're going to do the Dutch pour. And like I said, this is for my mom. It's for Mother's Day coming this Sunday. And hopefully she will love it. I know she will because it's for me. You know. But let's just get started. First, we're going to add the, the base. And like I said, the base is going to be permanent black. So what you do, take it up a little bit. Sometimes the paint's been sitting for a while, so you want to get the uh, any kind of dried paint inside the container out. So we're going to pour it through. in there. You don't want to throw chunks in the paint, so strain it out first. Especially if your, your paint's been sitting for a little bit, you want to strain it a little bit. Sometimes you can even get a uh, stopping, put over the top of the bottle, and it'll filter it out that way.
sorry, Pete, and I forgot the most important thing. An apron. You don't want to get paint all over yourself, do you? You can see I am the artist, formerly known as Dennis. No, you can Now, I'm going to show you the paints that we do. We mix together. We don't mix them. We just layer them in a cup. I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay, I'm going to start with green first. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I'm going to take this. Take it up a little bit. All right. Now. What you want to do is you want to put it right there on the edge and let it ride down. Get a little squirt in there. Alright. Do another color. Maybe a little lighter color. Again, right on the edge. Squirt down. And the effect, if you want, looks kind of like that. So what we're going to do, that's the effect that you want. I'm going to let that sit right there. We're going to go for another green. Look all these greens. And you're all over again. Look at this green. A lot of these paints are uh, almost done, so I'm finishing off what I had in my tables. A little line, a light green. The bronze. Mm. And a little bit of that one. Alright. Now that's for the green. Now
thing about working outside is you get little things in your paint. Bugs or feathers or whatever. Flower pieces. So yeah, just gotta keep an eye out. Alright, now how we're gonna do this is we're gonna go to the corners. Okay? How I did it last time, I had red and blue on one end and yellow and green on the other. And all the colors, they represent the four elements, fire, earth, water, and wind. So, we're going to do blue first, and we're going to start in the middle, and we kind of just pour across that way, and uh, we'll get the effect.
Now, the thing of the beauty about this painting, like this, if you mess up, you can just shape it all off and start over again. I like it. It's not my best work, but I got a couple of little mess ups here, but that's no, that's okay. All I gotta do is see some black paint. Get over that. That paint. Flash right there, and just kind of cover a little bit. Acrylic pouring has endless possibilities on what you can do, different techniques, stuff like that. You could take wooden down, you can make little designs in your painting, or uh, a big comb, you can make lines like that, or whatever you want to do. You can take uh, cookie cutters, put a cookie cutter down, pour the paint in the cookie cutter, pull that off, and the frame spreads out. So, yeah, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for a minute. I'm going to take it inside to let it dry. And hopefully whenever it dries, these colors will pop out. For that, this is a technique that I use. You can either use a heat gun or a blowtorch. I use a torch, a butane torch. And if you look, sometimes there's bubbles in your paint, and you want to get those out. So you just take this and go across. Just kind of get some of the bubbles to pop. You don't want to get too close to the paint because you'll burn it. So you just go across, get the bubbles to pop. And if you have um, oil, silicone oil in your paint, those make cells whenever you pour it. So you can see little designs, more designs, in your paint job with the oil. Sometimes I use oil. I don't I don't do the oil with this kind of technique because it comes out cool without it. So and sometimes uh some of the cells will pop up without the oil. I use Floetrol as my uh, paint extender. It helps you um, spread your paint out more because doing acrylic pouring, you use a lot of paint. So if you use Floetrol, that helps spread that quantity out. Now I also use glue, school glue which is another paint extender. What I do is I mix 50-50 Floetrol and school glue along with my uh, water. I put a little bit of water in the solution to make it a little thin. Now you can add or subtract water, whatever, you, whatever your desire. This is a trial by error kind of a thing. So. I've been doing this, like I said, a year, and I'm not the greatest, 
And I'll show you another one, one like this I did for my stepmom for Christmas this past year. So I'll show you that. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. The way I wanted it, I wanted it all to come from the center and spread out the four elements. So yeah, the black really makes it pop. The colors pop up off the, off the canvas. So when this dries, hopefully um, it will look cool. Come over the edge and go across the bottom. Kind of get the drips off. That helps keep the paint on the canvas because if you got a drip, it'll keep pulling it. So just go across around the edge, around the edges. Now I won't leave this outside overnight because there'll be bugs all in it. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring it inside, get it on my grind table inside in the back room. It's a little warm and it'll dry quick, quicker than normal. And I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow when it dries. Let me give you a little close up of what it looks like now. Here it is guys, here is the finished product, it's dried. It's not my best work, but that's it. That's from my mom for Mother's Day. And uh, you'll see her reaction when I give it to her on Mother's Day. So, yeah. What's up, guys? I'm here at my mom's house. I'm going to give her, her a present. And I also got a present from my nephew. It's his birthday. It was his birthday uh, Friday. So, yeah, I'm here to surprise my mom with the gift. Hopefully she likes it. I think she will. I haven't said it. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. So, let's go. Huh? All right, I got her gift now. I'm going to give it to her. She's going to open the present. Go ahead. Look at that one. I'm going to see her reaction. Amy and Joe's here. My sister and her husband are here. Is that your uh, door dash? Oh, he made me another one. Hopefully. Another towel. No, another painting. Well, what is the painting? It's pretty, whatever it is. I like it. It's pretty. Guess what, buddy? She likes it. She's going to hang it up. Yeah, we'll hang All it up right, on the wall. Don't you have another one? Yeah. yeah. This is this is this is my aunt right here, man, Debbie. That's my brother over there. That's one of my paintings I did long. Oh, now that's the first one. It looks like uh, it looks like a thing of roses. You know? And then this is one I did for her Christmas time. But figure I thought you wanted over there. On the wall, right there. Can we put it over there? Okay. 
That's what you said. All right, guys, looks like she likes it. It's on the wall. Today was Mother's Day, and also that we celebrated my nephew Elijah's birthday. So happy birthday, Elijah. Eighth birthday. Hopefully you enjoyed your Jumanji game. Don't turn yourself into a monkey. Yeah. Anyway, that concludes today's video, and hopefully you had a great day today, Mother's Day, if you're a mother. And I will see you guys in the next one. Remember, stay adventurous. Peace. What are you guys still doing here? The video's over with. Go home. Well, you don't want to leave? Well, then like the video, share the video, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that bell down there to let you know when I upload a new video. Okay? Go home. Go with.